we regularly ask the students for feedback via questionnaire, which they um, complete on a computer, and then we analyse the outcomes of those and that's had a massive impact into how we actually deliver lessons to the students and how we help them to engage in um, their learning and become more effective participators really. We've introduced a large learning plaza at the New Line Learning Academy. If you talk to the young people who are educated in here it's by far the nicest part of the school, they enjoy it, their education is, is a far more pleasant experience for them. When we're in the plaza I think um, most people feel safe and secure because it's a nice environment and you're surrounded by your friends and they help you when you need to work. We've had to really consider the way we teach in these large spaces so the emphasis is now much more on learning, not on teaching. And in order to do that, we're delivering a much more integrated curriculum. So that means rather than seeing lessons of you know, 50 minutes of English, math, science, we're actually grouping subjects together. So children do projects and they'll have a two or three week project that they're working on. And within that project, you'll see English, there'll be high levels of literacy, a lot of the independent learning skills and humanities and we're moving the next stages to have what we call a completely integrated curriculum so all the subjects will dovetail and feed into that project so it becomes much more of an experience for young people um, they can achieve far more quickly so rather than doing sort of I don't know 18 months or something before they get to the end and do an exam they're actually um, working and progressing. I think the students are really enjoying the different projects that we're delivering to them because they are not really reading from textbooks and then answering questions um, the, the teachers are having to be a lot more dynamic in the way they deliver the lessons and the students are enjoying watching the teachers come up or participating in the lessons where the teachers are having to be um, sort of stand back a little bit and let the, the students take more of an active role. The average day for our students would be arriving at school they would have their lessons but they wouldn't stop there they'd obviously go home and they'd, they'd access their their learning gateway they'd be communicating with their friends there'll be instant messaging they'll be using their blogs they'll be commenting on their friends work they'll be peer assessing and so on a lot of the ethos behind new line learning is very much looking at not at the student's age but where they are educationally and what the technology allows us to do is it allows us to open up learning pathways that our students wouldn't normally have access to. Using the computer just helps us study because um, it has a lot of information on there that we can use to help us with our work. We get to learn while having fun. Because students, when they interface on an online environment, you take that personal edge away, they're a lot more free to sort of vocalise exactly what they think. And they're not nasty but they're honest about another student's piece of work and that's something I've particularly found. The other thing I've found about it is as well, it, it kind of, I had um, an example of a blog entry that a student had done and it was about an incident about um, their thoughts and opinion on bullies and bullying. Now, that is something that that student would have never come up to me and spoken about and I, and I don't think even if you had a classroom discussion, they perhaps would have voiced their, their views but they were very well thought through. We've been trying to develop the way that the students communicate with one another and also how the staff communicate with the students, trying to develop empathy, help the students and the staff recognise what their emotions are, how they um, deal with their emotions, how they respond to other people. Every day that students arrive to the plaza, they uh, use the mood meter to actually rate where they are that day so they refer to how pleasant they're feeling and how how much energy they have and that's been a really useful tool for the teachers to be able to look at very quickly and identify which students are maybe feeling a little bit low and that just opens up a dialogue really between staff and students and that's been quite an important sort of aspect to how we deliver lessons. Our students seem to really enjoy this learning experience that generally their attendance is improved, their punctuality is improved, they have um, very positive attitudes towards coming into this space and also they're enjoying the fact that they're able to choose their style of learning. Mm -hmm.